Hello and welcome again to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to make a perfect circle in Photoshop, how to center it, and how to select our perfect circular selection in Photoshop. In few easy steps and few shortcuts, it's very important in Photoshop the keystrokes that you use. Let me go and start. Okay, we'll start from a plank layout, 1000 by 1000 as usual. And then I will give it a little bit of filling, of white filling. Okay. And to know my centers, I will add from view, new guide layout. I will select two columns by two rows to make it centered. And then, okay. And then from here, I will select ellipse tool. Okay. I will come to the center. I will click here. And I will start drawing my circle. Maybe it comes a little bit oval. To make it perfectly circular, I need to press Shift, and then it will be perfectly circular. If I circular, if I need to change the size, I will go up, or I will go down with my mouse till I find the size that I need. Okay, if this size is the size that I need, simply I need first to release the mouse click, and then the Shift. Like this, it will remain circular. And it appears here in the characteristics. It's perfectly with the width and horizontal, and it's coming from the uh, from the center. So that's exactly how to make it perfectly circular. So if I need to draw another circle in another location, so for example, I'll start with my mouse here. If I click and select it instead of this big circle, I'll make it 50 by 50, and then OK. It will come from the center where I was. Stop it. So let me make another circle. If I make one circle from here, like this one, and then I need to make it perfectly circular also, I need to push shift. Okay, and I need, if I release the shift again, it will return again to the oval shape. Then I need to push the shift and release the mouse click first and then the shift. I will have uh, my perfect circle again. So now suppose that I need to, to select the original circuit that I have drawn and I need to, uh, to delete it. Okay. I will go, I will come to here, I will select the elliptical marker tool. Okay, I will start also from the center. I click and I draw my circle. But here I will do something a little bit different. I'll be pressing also shift to make it circular oval and then alt will bring it to the center. And then I go down with the mouse till I reach the exact and I see this red square coming out I need to make sure that this square is coming out that I I had selected my circle perfectly and then I release a clear mouse click and then the other strokes okay now I'm having my perfect selection so I will do something here okay I will do for example I need to delete this circle I will make delete I couldn't make it because I need to rasterize the layout first so I will go to layer rasterize the layer okay and then i can make delete okay now it accepts to delete but my circle is still existing yes because i didn't stop at the uh, at the right layout or at the right layer i stopped at layer layer 3 which is the last circle i had drawn so i need to go to ellipse 1 which is the first layer and then while i'm here i will push delete i need to try this layer again we, do, we should not forget this step. So I come to layer, rasterize, layer. Okay, and then I press delete. Now the circle has disappeared. Don't forget to make control D to deselect. You see now that there's a shadow, a red shadow coming here that I didn't make the perfect selection. It was a little bit maybe due to my touch. It was outside. So I'll come again. I'm having the selection tool. I'm at the right layer. I'll come, I'll make it again, that you can see, shift, then alt, it's coming at the center, bigger than my circle, I release the mouse click first, and then the other strokes, and then I make delete, okay, and then control D to deselect, now it's perfectly, it's perfectly gone, okay, so I hope now you can make perfect circles, you can select it, you can, you can make it in another layer via copy, I deleted, but you can make it in another layer via copy, so we can try this one here. If I come here to this circle and I select this circle, I make shift 
alt it's coming like this okay and then i release my strokes and i need to be stopping at the right layer okay and then i will select to uh, to copy okay and then layer i will make new layer via copy okay this now added another layer via copy so if i come here and I can move it anywhere. There's another thing why I'm making a selection. I can make I can make Alt, and then this mouse appears, and then I can see that I'm duplicating the circle again. So Alt, while I'm clicking on my circle and moving it, I'm duplicating it without making the uh, copy and paste. Okay. Suppose now that I need to select this circle, which is not at the center uh, of my coordinates, so I can come. To this guideline and I'll move it to the center of the circle and I will come to this guideline at the bottom or at the top one okay and I'll move it to the center okay and then I will select the oval selection tool I will come to the center draw my circle press shift and then alt and then i'll go down with it to perfectly surround it then i release the mouse click first and then the others okay now it's perfectly selected perfectly circled while it is actually not in the center i moved the guidelines to make to perfectly select my guidelines okay and then i make delete it's perfectly deleted because i'm stopping at the right uh, layer Okay, thank you very much for following so far. I have now you can make perfect circles. Uh, you center them, you align them, you delete them uh, in any part uh, of your screen, and this will help you to make perfect uh, images, perfect designs for your page and your future projects. Thank you very much for following so far.